well, Saturday morning, uh, Sotel Wellness Beginner Qigong. And today happens to be the, um, the first class that we're doing in the springtime. And it's hard to believe it's, uh, you know, well, we have five seasons, so they don't exactly match the uh, equinoxes and the solstice and so on. But, uh, you know, sure, this is uh, spring. We just got a foot of snow outside yesterday. So who knows how it goes? So the, the color for this season is green, hence the green t-shirt. And the uh, meridians uh, that we uh, focus on are the liver and the gallbladder. The healing sound is shh, like, you know, be quiet, shush, that sort of thing. The, um, the emotion you know, <laughs> we're trying to manage here is anger. And so we have a healing sound and some movements that we're going to do for that. And uh, today, well, we're, we're going to do our usual, um, I believe it's the golden chi ball. No, it's the eight pieces of brocade that we've got set up for today. And then towards the end, we'll be having a brief look at open and filling the eight vessels, a little more, a, a more of an intermediate series, a little more challenging than... Uh, the golden chi ball and the eight pieces of brocade. So that's sort of what we got in plan for today. So let's head on back and we'll get started. All right, so we, as always, we're gonna start with pulling down the heavens. So it's the inhale, gather the chi from the earth, look to the right hand as you reach up to the heavens, lengthening the spine, increasing the space between the vertebrae. Inhale. And exhale. Once more. All right. And now we're going to do our breathing practice for today. And this is our three part breath. And so we begin with nice. So it's three parts. And we're looking to get really deep breathing here. So we're gonna fill the abdomen as much as possible. And then we're gonna add some more breath on top, expanding the lungs. And then finally up at the very top, like pouring in that last little bit. So breathe in the third time here. And then we pause for a second, holding that breath and then exhale, we get rid of it all. And if we cough during this, it's a good sign that we're stretching our lungs, increasing our capacity. So here we go. <laughs> Inhaling. And again. Two more. <coughs> Last one like this. All right, so that was the three part breath. And one of the things I didn't talk about is the breathing. How do we breathe? You breathe in through the nose and you breathe out through the nose. We wanna breathe in for a count of four, and then we wanna breathe out for a count of four as well. So we're looking to get a deep breath, filling the lungs, expanding the abdomen, stretching the very bottom of the chest. So it's, we'll do one more time with those thoughts in mind. So inhale. All right, and now we're gonna look at our standing posture for this season. And well, the season we're in is spring and the element for this season is wood. And, the, well, and as we said before, the color is green. So the leaves on the tree, if you wish. 
And so we're going to be standing like a tree. And so once again, we start with our foundation, the feet more or less parallel directly under the hips. Put weight in the toes, drift back, put weight in the heels. This builds awareness of where we are, have our weight on our feet. And now come to the center, equal between the heels and the toes. Bend the knees ever so slightly. Push the toes into the earth, push the heels into the earth. Now, tuck the tailbone in a little bit, pull the belly button in, lift the ribs, creating some space in the abdomen. Lift the chin, we gaze to the horizon. Now, imagine you're a marionette, a string puppet, and you have a string holding you up from the heavens. So we're lengthening the spine as we reach the top of the head up to the heavens. And now, standing like a tree, we bring the hands up, Take them out to the side, bring the elbows towards each other. And now bring the hands up to the side, keeping the shoulder blades together. The center of the palm, about the same height as the eyes. And we gaze off to the horizon. So inhale, we drift forward onto the toes. Exhale, we drift back. And you're just able to barely see the, the palms, the, the hands in the edge of your vision. So inhale, we drift forward. Exhale, we drift back. Inhale, breathe in through the nose. And exhale, we breathe out through the nose. Our gaze to the horizon. Inhale, we shift forward, push forward with the hands against the breeze. And then exhale, let the breeze push us back on the heels. Inhaling. Exhale. One more breath. And now we let the arms come on down. And now we're, we're going to be doing our warm up series here. So we start with shaking the nine gates. So the elbows, the wrists, the shoulders going up and down, shaking the water off the hands. Then we add the hips, the knees, and the ankles. And then finally, we turn and look over the shoulder, inhaling. Exhale. So inhale at the front. Exhale as we twist and look over the shoulder. And I'll do one more cycle starting here. And we come back to the front. Next is the swinging arm series. So we start this one with dragon shakes his whiskers. And so we shake the whiskers from side to side, turn the head, look over the shoulder. Keep the hips facing front as we turn and look behind. One more like this. And now it's cleaning the dragon's whiskers. We come to the shoulder, then we come to the kidney.
And now flinging sleeves. Down in front, up and back. Two more like this. One last cycle. This side, this side, and we're done. And now we're gonna do a, uh, a side body stretch from the crescent moon. So take this foot, point it to the side and lift the toes. So this is known as seven star stance. The heel is down and the toes are up. Take this hand, the same as that leg, push it across, in my case, towards the heart. And the other hand comes up over and push this upper elbow to the heavens and push this hand across. So we're encouraging the hips to move. And this is encouraging the torso to stretch to the horizon. And now we go to the opposite side. So the feet are parallel, the hands shift, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So you want the hips and the shoulder blades to touch the wall behind you. It's an imaginary wall, but you want to keep the hips and the two shoulders in line so we're facing forward and we're not twisting to the side. So inhale, exhale. And we'll do one more cycle starting here. All right. And I remembered to stop this time. I don't always. So we shall begin now with our, our eight pieces of brocade. So as usual, when we move on to the next segment, pull down the heavens. Last one. All right. So the first one in the series is double hands hold up the heavens. And so for this guy, we interlace the fingers and we straighten the arms. And if that doesn't work for you, just have the fingertips point towards each other. Eventually, you know, the hands will get to 90 degrees or whatever the wrist. And if they don't, well, we just do what we can do. And if, if you get some pain, we'll modify so that the pain goes away. And so you bring the hands up overhead. So we're here on the top of the head, inhale. Exhale, we push up, take weight off the heels. Inhale. Exhale, we push to the side. Once again, the shoulders stay one above the other. Inhale. Exhale, we push to the other side. Inhale, we're here. Exhale. So we're still breathing in for a count of four and breathing out for a count of four. Breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the nose. Filling the lungs on the inhale.
And now we let the arms relax here for a moment. We're going to introduce or do again, it's been a little while, the twisted variation of this guy. And so we start here, bring the hands together, inhale here, exhale. It's all the same so far. And now we add the twist, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And we do it again. So inhale, exhale. And now the twist. And now on to King removes his helmet. So for this guy, take this hand, the back of the hand to the kidney on the opposite side. So the back of the hands here. The other hand, the palm to the back of the head, reaching around to the ear. Turn the head to look to the shoulder. Bring the shoulder blades together. So pulling this upper elbow back. Inhale, push the elbow to the heavens, look to the earth. Exhale, bring the elbow down. Look to the heavens. Pause the breath. We rotate the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling. Exhale. Two more like this, so we start here, pushing the elbow to the heavens, looking to the earth. Exhale, looking to the heavens, bringing the shoulder blades together. Inhale, exhale. Last cycle. All right, you get me a tissue. All right, so next is, stand, no, wrong list, King, divide heaven and earth. So this is another good one for a side body stretch. So we're holding the ball here in front of the navel. We turn the ball over, push down with the fingertips, draw the, push down with the wrist, draw the fingertips up to the shoulder. The other hand, comes up over the head, the fingers point across the body, push up with the wrist, draw the fingertips down. So this hand's pointing forward, this one's pointing crossways. Now, and we're shifting our weight to the leg that has the down hand, and we look to the upper hand. Inhale, hold the ball. Exhale, we push up, we push down. Inhaling. Exhale. Inhale. 
Inhale, we hold the ball. Exhale, we push, we look up, push the hand down, push the hand up, stretching the side of the body. Shift the weight to the down leg. So we'll do one more cycle like this. And then we'll do a few of the twisted variation. So now we add the twist. So the bottom hand comes behind the hip, turn the head, look over the shoulder, inhaling, exhaling. Inhale at the front. So we keep the hips facing front as we twist the spine and look behind. Inhale here. Exhale. So do two more cycles like this. And that starts here. Last cycle coming up. And we come on back to the front. Next is gather the sun and press the earth. So for this, so, so far we've just been standing tall and doing various things with our arms and twisting our torso and so on. Now we actually get to do a little more movement. We're gonna be bending over. So gather the sun and press the earth. So we start here, crossing the arms. Now bring the elbows to the ribs. And you want to slide the arms along that same spot to the little finger. We come around and we cover the kidneys. So right here, you know, this is the end of the liver meridian. The liver meridian starts down in the in the uh, one of the toes, comes up the inside of the legs, and stops here, just below the ribs, and sort of halfway from the side to the center. Sort of, you know directly down below the nipples. And so this is the end of liver meridian. So what we're looking to do here is bring those elbows to that spot and then scrub that spot from the elbow to the little finger. And what that does is stimulates the chi to flow through the liver meridian and improves the health of our body. So here we go, inhaling. Pause the breath. And then exhale, we come down the back of the hips, the back of the legs, along the little toe side of foot. Look back through the legs. And then inhale, palms against the legs. We come up with a turtle back. And we drop the chi in to the brass basin. So inhaling. Exhale. Inhale and come up. And So palms against the legs on the end, up with an arched back. So inhale, stimulating the end of the liver meridian. We lift the ribs, lift the chin, a big dragon's back here. 
exhale we fold forward bringing the top of the hips down as far as comfortable inhale come up looking back through the legs exhale so we'll do two more like this exhale Last one of these. All right, so that was gather the sun and press the earth. Next, we're into the series of movements where we're standing in horse riding stance. And the first one of those is pull bow, shoot arrow. But first, and now let's get our feet in the right place. So, so far we've been standing in our narrow stance, which has a double hand width between the feet, like so. And so that just means the legs are coming straight down out of the hips. So for horse riding stance, we've got to fit a horse between our legs. And so we move them out to the side. One way to do that is you bring the feet together and then you turn them, uh, the toes out 45 degrees. And then you take the heels out. So they're 45 degrees further away. So all the toes are pointing inwards now. And then you turn them out one more time and put the heels behind the toes. And you may go like, yeah, right. And you wanna be a little closer together or whatever. Or if you're getting some discomfort in your hips, your knees, your legs, adjust so that you are comfortable in this particular position. Now, horse riding stance, you bring the knees forward, you wanna keep the shoulders over the hips as we slide down a wall. And so if you look down at the, the, to the toes, the knees, they cover the toes as they go straight ahead. So how far down should I lower? As far as you're comfortable as far as you can manage to do the various movements that we're gonna do like this. So it could be just a little bit, could be you know, down here, or if you really wanna show off, you could come way down. But just remember, we got a lot of repetitions to do here and you wanna be able to finish them in some sort of comfort. All right, so pull bow, shoot arrow. Inhale, we bring the hands up. You look up to the hands. And exhale, we slide down the wall. So the wrists, the elbows, the shoulders, all the same height, tailbone tucked in, belly button pulled in, shoulder blades coming towards each other. And now hold the bow, grab the bowstring, pull it back to the ear, bring the shoulder blades together. Still looking at the bow, release the bowstring. Inhale, we rise up. Exhale, we slide down that wall. Inhale, pull the bowstring back to the ear, opening the chest. Exhale, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, pull the bowstring back to the ear, shoulder blades together. And then exhale, you release with the hand going up and out to the side. Exhale, slide down that wall. Inhale, pull the bowstring back. Exhale.
We'll do one more cycle. And that was pull bow, shoot arrow. Now we leave the feet in horse riding stance because the next one, which is cat gazes at the moon, we do in horse riding stance as well. But for this one, instead of being vertical, the torso is gonna be parallel to the floor, to the earth. So you bring the hands just above the knees, thumbs on the inside, fingers on the outside. And you want to lower the torso so it's more or less parallel to the earth. Now you drop the shoulder, you turn the head, and you look up to the heavens directly above. I have a light in the middle of my ceiling, so I look to that. Inhale, we look to the earth. Exhale, drop the shoulder and look to the heavens. Now I add a bit more to this. When you drop the shoulder, shift the weight. So you straighten that leg that you're turning away from. Inhale, look to the earth. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. And as you're twisting the spine and looking to the heavens, you're keeping the ribs away from the hips. Inhale. Exhale. One more cycle like this. And we come on up. So I'm gonna do a variation on this. So the variation in this, so what we've been doing so far is we've been keeping our hands on our knees, dropping the shoulder, shifting our weight, and looking to the heavens. Now what we're gonna do is reach for the leg. So as you drop the shoulder, bring the hand across, reach for the calf, the ankle, maybe even beyond the foot. And so what we're looking to do is just accentuate, big word for twist more around the spine. So inhale here, exhale, reach for the leg, turn the head, Look to the heavens, still keep the ribs away from the hip. Inhale, look to the earth. Exhale, reach for the opposite leg. Inhaling. So we're shifting the hips over as well. So we'll do two more like this. And that starts here. So reaching for the calf, reaching for the ankle, reaching beyond, still endeavoring to get one shoulder below the other. One more cycle. And we come on up. So that was cat gazes at the moon. Two variations, both keep hands on knees and reach for the ankle. So next is King rides his horse with fiery eyes. So this is another one that's stimulating the liver meridian in the same fashion that we were doing a while back. The King rides his horse with fiery eyes. We're riding a horse. We're still in a horse riding stance. And we're holding on to the reins, the horse in front of us. So the wrist is about the same height as the shoulder, the second knuckle in line with, <laughs> with the center line of the body. 
just going to say the nose, but not quite. And we're looking beyond that knuckle into the distance. That's the fiery eyes. We're focused on the distance. So riding a horse, a horse goes up and down. So this hand is back here, just below the ribs with the palm up. So we start here, we're scrubbing below the end of the, below the ribs, just below the ribs. We come up to the elbow, out to the wrist, turn over, back to the elbows, scrubbing the end of the liver meridian. So inhale. And we're riding the horse. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, so scrubbing from the elbow to the wrist, just below the ribs. And for me, every time I do this, my heart gets stimulated as well. So the pulse rate goes up. To me, an indication that we are stimulating the liver meridian. The gaze fixed on the horizon. And as the hands change place, they're in the same spot in the gaze. So lowering down as you're comfortable. And we have those nice deep breaths. Inhale as we rise up, exhale as we lower down. So two more like this. This is the beginning. Last cycle coming up. And we come on. So that was King rides his horse with fiery eyes. And that's the last one in horse riding stance. So let's bring the feet back together. And we're back in our narrow stance, standing in Wuji, also known as the ready stance. So many, many names, as we know, most Qigong movements have a multitude of names. And they also have a multitude of variations as well. So the next one is King shakes his body. And so for this one, we need to have the feet in our narrow stance. The knees need to be slightly flexed. The tailbone tucked in, the belly button pulled in, all this stuff to have a nice, good, tall posture here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to lift our heels up off the earth and then crash down firmly into the earth so that we get a vibration through the entire body. So it's best here to keep the teeth together, keep the tongue away from the teeth. So inhale, exhale. So that's the basics right there. So the knees are ever so slightly bent, but we add some more to it. So we bring some chi, the surface of the palm. We cover the kidneys with the fingers pointing down. We lift up and we drop three times. Should feel the cheeks move on your face. Maybe the hair move on top of your head. You want to feel the muscles moving up and down as well. If you have any slight misalignment in the vertebrae, this particular move has been known over time to gradually nudge that back into place. We'll do two more sessions.
Last one just proves I can't count. All right, and that turns out to be the last movement of the eight pieces of brocade. So let's pull down the heavens. Last one. All right. And now we're going to be looking at the healing sound for this season. We're in the spring season. The healing sound is So think of S H I. So it's as in, you know, be quiet. And the organ we're working on here is the liver and the, um, the emotion, the negative emotion that we're looking to manage and mitigate and reduce is anger. And the color is green here. And so we're going to be doing, you take, <laughs> we're gonna be doing the standing variation of the healing sound here. So the liver is over here on your right side. So just remove any confusion here. Take this hand and you cover the liver. Take this hand and bring it up overhead. And we're looking to push off to the side here. And so we start here. So inhaling. Now I'll just turn around so we can see each other here. So you cover the liver, bring this hand up. So this is inhale, gathering in the fresh chi, expelling the turbid chi. So we bring in fresh chi and we expel turbid chi. Now you can do a slight variation on this guy. You can push the chi, the fresh chi into the body. So we're inhaling, we're drawing in fresh chi from this hand, from the heavens coming through here and in to the liver. And then we expel the turbid chi by when we exhale. So inhale. We look to the distance, so inhaling. One more. And we typically do it when we're doing a session on the healing sound, we'll do it three times as a group. So the first one is for the Jing, the physical aspect of the body. The second time is for the, the Qi, the energetic aspect of the body. And the third time is for the spiritual, the intellectual, the thinking part of the body. So with those thoughts in mind, we'll do it one more time. So inhale, gathering fresh chi. Expelling turbid chi, so inhale. Now there's an animal associated with this healing sound as well. And it is the deer, which sort of fits with this season because the energy it's, you know, the season is spring and you know, what's happening is all the plants, all the shoots are just bursting up out of the earth. And so there, it's sprouting is sort of the energy that we're looking at here. And so the deer is the animal that's associated with this season. If you think of the deer, it can leap great heights. And so we're gonna try that here as well. But so if you're doing this as well and you've got a ceiling above you, don't wanna to leap too high and put your head in the ceiling. Great, I'm not gonna get that high. All right, so the deer, 
So we set up the deer's antlers. So you want to tuck in the middle two fingers. So these are the antlers of the deer. And you do it with both hands. And so now it's inhale, you lower the hips. And exhale, you come up by the temples. You push and you reach up to the heavens. So inhale. Exhale. Of course, we make the healing sound. And lifting the heels as much as you can. Now, if you're a real energetic deer, you can leap as well. So we're here, inhale. Once more. And that's the deer, the healing sound for the spring season, working on making the liver happy, managing anger, reducing that bad, <laughs> the bad emotion of anger, trying to keep things kind of mellow here. <sighs> And that was the healing sound, a little vigorous. So what we're going to do now is something that we missed way back at the beginning, is the boosting of the immune system. And there's two things we're gonna to do today. So one is, we wanna be in, in stacking the bone stance here, because we got a little bit of going from side to side here. So boosting, the immune system, we start here. Inhale, draw the chi up from the earth. Exhale, bring it down from the heavens, twice. Now we gather some fresh chi from the east and we bring it down to the brass base. Inhale, gathering some fresh chi from the west. And we bring it down in to the brass basin. Inhale, draw the chi up from the earth. And bring it down from the heavens again. And now we gather turbid chi from the brass basin. And exhale, we push it off to the horizon. So inhale. Once more, so we watch the hand. And now drawing in fresh chi. Bringing in fresh chi from the east. And fresh chi from the west. Again. And one more cycle. Expelling turbid chi. So that dark green grubby cloud going off into the distance, inhaling. Exhale, the dark green grubby cloud goes away. Once more. All right, and now what, this is the last part. So gathering up the fresh chi from the east and bringing it in 
to the breath space. Once more. And we wrap up with expelling turbid chi. So gather up the turbid chi and push it off into the distance. And again. And that was the immune boosting system based on wave hands like clouds. So let's bring our note. We leave the feet where they're at. We're wrapping up for today with our five directions, our five direction meditation. So it's inhale, we advance. Exhale, we retreat. Inhale, we move to the left. Exhale, we come down to the hip. We're watching the hands the whole time. Now we stay in the center. So inhale. And now we exhale for a count of eight instead of four. Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling, exhale, and we watch the hands the whole time. The red phoenix straight ahead. The dark blue black turtle behind. The green dragon to the left. The silver gray tiger to the right. And the yellow golden center. Early summer, straight ahead. Winter behind, spring to the east, fall to the west, and late summer. Last cycle. And that's it for today.